So I'm a numbers guy and I wanted to know which barbs should I kill to get the most rewards. Everybody says go chain, but should I change level 40 barbs, level 50, level 55? So what I did, I did testing. I gathered as much data as I could during my KVK by killing different level barbs, going through every single reward, counting how many barbs I killed, how much AP I spend for every single march that I had. And I had a lot. Um, and summarized to learn and to make a data-driven decision on which barbs should I focus on based on what rewards I am going for. Is it materials? Is it gems? Is it speed-ups? So let's go and find out. But before we do, let me first show you what marches I was using for my chaining. For my chaining, uh, first march was Richard with Heraclius. Yes, good old Richard is here. Uh, he's running infantry gear, the best gear I have. Obviously, a um, couple of items are Eternal Empire set, uh, supplemented by some okay-ish uh, gear for for this guy. And the, the most important thing for the armaments was uh, damage and damage reduction versus barbarians, which I got 20% damage and 6% damage reduction. He doesn't kill very fast. Actually, it's pretty slow, but he doesn't really die as well. So you can go on with, with Richard Heraclius for hours and days on the field without needing to go home. The second march was more traditional march here. Archer, um, both of commanders using archer focused support skills and just basically using random equipment I had available um, all, which just gives march speed because, well, that's simply what I had. March speed um, and staff of loss for some archer defense together with a horn for that skill cycle improvement. Overall, this march does better damage, uh, a bit less sustainable, but still gets, gets the job done. Um, and especially on, when I was focusing on until level 50 barbs. On armaments, uh, going for march speed and again, damage to barbs and damage reduction, kind of keeping a balance between. So that did work out for me. Pretty well. Now let's go to the stats. So, in this KVK, I killed a lot of barbs. Okay, these are just some of them because it was really tiring to get all the reports. I killed 352 barbs uh, lower than 40, level 40 in Home Kingdom, 259 until level 49, 128, level 51, and above. You can see materials which I obtained for my reports. Keep in mind one green equals four white. So there has to be some math in the background. And then there are gems, which I acquired by killing this number of barbs, as well as speed ups converted into hours for the same level barbs. And then finally, because the most interesting thing is how many legendary materials I got, I converted uh, into legendary materials, whites and greens. So it's a bit easier to compare apples to apples. So what does it mean? So if we convert and we take 100k AP, no chaining, just, just using a peacemaker, you can see 100k AP by killing Home Kingdom Barbs grants you 3.3 legendary materials until 49 level, it goes up to 4.8 but then killing 51 plus actually goes down significantly to 3.9 legendary material. There's a big difference here in, in materials. On For gems, it is pretty much the same. 3,480 goes significantly up to 5,004 and then goes down to almost 4,000 gems. However, on the speed ups, con hours converted to days, it's easier to read, the story is now different. Um, from Home Kingdom to uh, level 49, it goes up. But then 
if killing 51 and, and above, it goes even double that of um, previous data point. So this is a very interesting finding that I learned, and it really depends on what rewards are you going for. If you are going, for example, at a different stage, if you're going for materials and if you're going for gems, um, you should kill level 41, 49 barbs. That's where the, those rewards are. However, let's say that you have all your gear crafted and not much uh, needed except for maybe some speed ups. You have to wait until King's Land to push those 51 barbs. The speed ups are double that of the previous level barbs. And then if you're kind of, so what should you do, what should you do if you're in Home Kingdom? Well, yes, you can chain. Obviously, chaining gives like double rewards, right? If you can chain two barbs, three barbs, etc. But in general, if you're in the home kingdom, just run forts, run forts, save AP, uh, get those AP bottles, and then use them in Lost Kingdom for whichever barb group you need, depending on those rewards you are looking for. So that's that's me sharing some of my data, which I am gathered. So thanks so much for watching, and good luck on your barb.